from behind. They spent days searching the forest. He's obviously not in the chase any longer. Well, they never did find him, did they? I bet he's ravenous by now. Oh, I need a drink. You need a gag. Well, now, what have we here? Take a picture, Jack. Of a dirty saucepan. Don't be ridiculous. We're taking this back with us. It could be anyone's picnic party or poacher or something. It could be, but I bet it's come from the Dower House kitchen. Come on. Hey, wait for me! more comfortable living with smoker. Hey, look! It's a fox. I thought it was a badger. I'm really quite glad it wasn't. It'll make a lovely muff. Who for? Aunt Ellen won't want an old fox skin. She's got a sable muff. I'll get Smoko to cure it. He'll make a much better job than me. Robin will try and bag the skin for himself. Well, he can't have it. It's my turn to the traps. The fox is mine. That's forest law. All right, keep your wig on. Anyway, I've decided to give it to Angela Bowers. Oh, mushy. She helped you escape in Brendan, and she came to warn us about the search party. How are you going to give it to her? I'll find a way. You'd always pass it up and ask Smoko to give it to her. Oh, no. Now, I say the oak tree was about here, OK? You want to take a mile or two? I'd say that we're about right, miss. According to Sergeant Bunting, that is. He reckons it's just about dead centre. And we found the saucepan about here. Right, Jack? About half a mile due east of the oak. Ernie, which way has the search party been going? They've been beating the woods from west to east, so they come on the tree from this direction. So the boys heard the beaters coming and beat a hasty retreat to the east. Now, assuming they dropped the saucepan here... Big assumption. Assuming they did, we should be able to continue this line to find out exactly where they were going. Unless, of course, they were intending to go straight out of the forest on this side, they must have been heading for somewhere specific. What's that mark there? Well, I'll be damned. What is it? It's the charcoal kilns. Smoko Joe, of course. He's hiding them. No wonder they just vanished. I'm not moving out of that door until the rain stops. Good morning, Mr. Rumble. Sure. Where enough for you is it? Sure. Ah, how gardener. What they be? You sure, Ernie. You sure telephone. I help this out. Cherry Walden, one six. If you please, Mrs. Baines. 
The tar. Hello, uh, Miss Alcorn. It's Mr. Rumble, dear. Uh, no, no, Miss, I, I've never reached the station. You best get Miss Ansman to send a taxi to fetch the Colonel. Uh, no, too wet for the trap, Miss. Colonel be at round before I got him back to the dower house. No, Miss, I'll stay here till the storm passes. And then I'll bring the trap back. Uh, yeah. Very well, Miss. Goodbye. They're not hurry, are they? This dang weather ain't no good for man or beast. This is stupid. We're soaked already. I might just as well go back to smokers. No one's going to be searching for the bear in weather like this. You're not supposed to walk under trees when there's lightning. Oh, shut up and come on. <laughs> 